Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Kiss the Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are all well. I figured I'd give a whole big view of my desk. Um, I don't know if it's going to stay that way when I go to record, when I go to upload it, but for right now, I'm going to leave it that way just in case I can keep it that way. Okay, so we have a big day today. Today is um, Twisted Tool Tuesday, so welcome to Twisted Tool Tuesday. And um, I'll just start off with my beautiful blessings really quickly and then we'll get right into it because I don't even know how much time I'm going to have. I hope that um, I'm going to be able to get a lot done. I think I will. I think I will. All right. So beautiful blessings to Connie Chandler, Linda MC. Uh, oh, Linda. Is that Linda McCoy? Oh, beautiful blessings. Beautiful blessings to Brenda Hall. Um, beautiful blessings to Kim Bazzini. Beautiful blessings to Christine Wrightington, Linda Graham, and Phyllis Allen. Also, beautiful blessings to Denise Hennix. <clears throat> um, let's see. And that's, that's Lynn Whitman. Beautiful blessings. Okay, let's get started. All right, so I wanted to make sure I got a lot of you. Welcome to all my new followers. Thank you so much for coming over and checking me out. Um, today, we're doing Twisted Tool Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm going to be using a new tool in the studio um, to try to get your juices flowing to maybe use it in a different way. Last week was the first Twisted Tool Tuesday, I believe, and we used, was it last week? Yeah, we used uh, punches, punches with pictures. So go ahead and take a look at it. If you're new here, please take a look around. I have playlists for the 100 Day Craft Project for last year. I have an Etsy shop. I have an Instagram, a TikTok, and a Facebook. Um, I am teaching this year in September. So I, if you were interested in a retreat, I'm teaching at a retreat in Texas. I live in New Jersey, but I'm teaching at a retreat in Texas for, um, September of this year. So you can email me twistedpaperstudio at gmail.com. Basically, you can find me anywhere in the internet, anywhere around under Twisted Paper Studio. Okay. So let's get started. Um, if you want to craft along with me, I'm going to be using Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling. You can get this at Home Depot or at Lowe's, that kind of a place. I even think Walmart sells it. Okay, so I'll be using that. I'm going to be using watercolor. You don't have to, though. I have an alternate thing for you to do if you don't want to do the watercolor. I'm going to be using stencils. I have um, stencils from Tim Holtz and stencils from... Uh, Michaels and you know just any kind of stencils that you have I like the ones from Tim Holtz um, I'm going to be using those stencils I also have I'm just pulling things out of the way I have some ledger papers and some book pages that I'm going to be using as well and I also have some give me one second I'm just pulling them I thought I did pull them but then I think I walked away so I have some specialty papers. I'm going to be uh, using them as well. Specialty papers, I'm gonna be using them as well. So I'll put those over with the papers. Okay, and what else? Um, I do have some digitals, so I'll be using digitals too. I have some fabric pieces. I don't know, I put this over to the side because I'm not really sure if we're gonna get to decorating today or not. I don't know that that's going to be a thing. Um, I have the palette tools. One is metal and one is plastic. You can use either one. I have paper plates. I have water. I have two water set up, one for watercolor and one for the acrylic paint. Because I have acrylic paint here, I used these last year and I decided to do this because I get so many questions, you guys, just an astronomical amount of questions whenever I post the video or a picture. And with all the followers I have, only 200 and something people saw the video. So I'm posting the video. I figured I would do it for uh, Twisted Tool Tuesday. So these are all tools. This is a tool. These are all tools. These I got in Walmart. They're from Waverly. They're probably a dollar a uh, bottle around there. And I have colors here. So I have steel, celery, cashew, ballet slipper, lavender, lagoon, sandstone and peacock those are the colors i have here i don't know that i'm going to use them all but i put them here because they're all the colors i have 
I also have an acrylic paint, uh, Crimson Lake. Um, I just wanted a red in case I wanted to make a pink. I have a water brush color and I also have a acrylic brush, just two brushes. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I know I'm gonna use the watercolor brush, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I just took it out. Okay, and then also thank you to Deborah from um, the Planner Chicks of Central Texas. She sent me happy mail. I got the corner puncher thing. She always sees me cut with scissors, so she got me the corner puncher thing. I have it on my desk anyway. I have a square punch. You can use any square punch. Um, I'm just going to give an alternate idea than to watercolor. So it's going to it's going to act as the same thing. You can do either or. Okay. And so now order of business here. Let's see. First and foremost, I wanted to say that yesterday's video for Merry Monday I forgot to put, but I did put pictures in. So in case anybody saw the pictures. I did the Christmas ball. I put a grommet there and I tied a little string so that when you wrapped up the book and you put this on, um, I just put this in there. So it can give you an idea of what else you guys can do with those little buckle belts, the little um, belly band buckle belts. Okay, here we go there so you can let the little ball tangle off isn't that cute i think there's a red one too in one of the pages in the kit so um yes that was fun all right i'll put those aside and then the next order of business is i'm finishing lots of digitals so um i'm trying to get them done so that i can have them in my shop for the 100 day craft project so that i can personally use them because if they're not in my shop i can't use them and i have lots of plans going on for the 100 day craft project so i want to be able to use them so i did this cover a while ago on um instagram i do covers for my instagram reels to try to you know um make content for their and then, of course, my long videos are here. So I did this cover and inspired by this cover, I did a digital kit because I didn't really have, I didn't want to go medieval and I didn't want to go bunny. So I wanted to, for the longest time, do this side type of a digital kit. So I did one and I released it, it's in my shop and we're going to be using it today. I do have some digitals in front of me. I have some of the Whimsy Romance um, tags. I have some of the Renaissance Eve tags. And and I have um, checks that are, come, that are on vellum. So I also did not mention, I'm gonna move this right now. I have a bucket of water here. The reason why I have the bucket of water here is because when I use my stencils and put the stencil um thing on here the spackle i want to put them in the water so that it, it can wipe them off i also have a roll of paper towels okay so that is the um <laughs> that is all the things that i have right here i'm moving it to the side i never got to do that all right let's move this to the side and then we're using this kit today so um i have it in my shop it's already up if you're seeing this video it's in my shop it's called the english garden english garden spring I think it's English Garden Collage Kit. Okay, so in the collage kit for English Garden is um, a green page. I just love it. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy to be finishing up my digitals because they've been sitting in my computer for so long. So there's page one, page two, page three, um, page four, page five, and then there are backers. So page six, page seven, page eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so there's the backers, that's the whole kit. It's a the English Garden Collage Kit. And let's see. Then there's the ephemera kit. It's the English Garden Ephemera Kit. So, let me go here. There is a page of tags, 
And then you can also resize this. So if you're printing this out and you want them smaller, you just print two to a page in like the smaller format if your computer allows you to do that. Hope it does. <laughs> okay, and then there are labels. And there are letters. And so I figured, oh, these are the same. Sorry, I printed two out. Um, there are labels and stamps. And then there are envelopes. So I figured this kit would be fun if you could take out the labels and maybe print the um, print the backer sheet on one of the letters or both of the letters and then you cut it out and then you'll have two letters. There's four letters in the kit and then there are multiple envelopes. And if you have your own invoices and things, you can use the envelopes for those. And just, it's like... Um, a writing love letter kit. <laughs> so there is one letter, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So you're getting the letters, you're getting the envelopes, you're getting labels, and you're getting tags in the um, ephemera kit. All right, so let's get started now, shall we? The first order of business that I want to do is watercolor. And I'm gonna do that quick. If it's not dry by the time we move on to the next step, I will pause the camera and just dry it really quickly. We've already been going for 11 minutes, so I'm hopeful that we will have some, we will have enough time. Okay, so let me get out my watercolor brush and thank you to everyone who helped me with um, getting my tip on because it absolutely worked. All right, so now I want, um, I know what I want today. I just want some pinks, reds and pinks and blues. Let me just move, I'm, I'm, I need to move this over. So I'm working this way. Hold on, I gotta get set up. I am set up. Can you believe how organized I am, you guys? <laughs> That's because I cleaned my home I mean, and I cleaned my entire studio. Like, I put everything away so I could use my table for company. And this was for the other day. And then I got sick. So, since then, I have been um, keeping everything put away. Why isn't this? Doesn't this feel like it's coming on? Very well. Hold on. I'm going to add some more colors. Now... Um, I, I did uh, do a video just recently where I used the watercolor. By all means, just go in and try new things, mix colors together to get the colors that you're looking for. Um, you can kind of do anything you want. I love the French blue, so that's the blue I always try to go and get. Um, this looks a little dark here, so I'm but that's okay. I think we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to put this down here and I'm just making a swatch, um, a swatch board. That's it. And I can see that this paper, this is, um, very, very old, <laughs> um, ledger paper. And it's not, it's actually not taking the paint very well. It's kind of like repelling it. So I want it to try to soak in. It's giving me a a moment there to try to get it to soak in. And that's okay too. <laughs> I don't mind. All right, so I'm just kind of making a swatch board here. Maybe I'll add some more water, just take some away. And that's my first step into using my tools um, into what I'm going to do in creating a project. And I'm really excited about the project. Like I said, I get so many questions. I mean, you wouldn't believe the amount of questions I get. And when I was doing research on it, you know, for the video here with you all today, I couldn't believe that there's only like two, I think it was 264 or something like that. I, I have thousands of people that watch my channel from all over. And I, not even here. I have thousands of people on Instagram too, and they just don't come over. They don't come over and watch. 
Okay. We'll do one more line and I think that'll be enough and then I'll do the pink. And usually I do it more gradient type, um, but for the sake of the demonstration today, I'm just gonna do what I can. And then also it seems to be having an issue here with this paint soaking into this ledger paper. I don't really know why or what the holdup is, but it's not soaking in. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I'm gonna start my pinks. And then I'll set that aside to dry. So I'm just gonna clean my brush off. Make sure I'm in camera. Okay. Clean my brush off and get to the pinks and the reds. And if your watercolor is dry, I thought I cleaned that off good. If your watercolor is dry, look at that, it turned purple. Um, you can reactivate your paint. I really thought I got the blue off, but I guess not. So it's okay. I'm just going to make it red again. And you can mix your watercolors to get different colors. It's a very vibrant pink. Mix a little orange in there to try to tone down this paint just a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. Got rid of the purple. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay. And it is more like a red, but the more water I add, um, the more it will become pink. And it is going to dry uh, clearer on the paper, uh, more translucent. And swatch making is a lot of fun. So, and I'm gonna show you again, as soon as we're done here with these squares up here, I'm gonna finish them up. They're my favorite to work with. The reason why is because it's translucent and I can see the ledger paper with the writing behind it. That's, that's my reason for liking um, to the watercolor. Okay, we're almost done. Working with watercolors is fun. You should give it a try. It's so much fun. Even just making swatches, it's a lot of fun. Um, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to have something with swatches again, but then just a different variation. And I'm excited to do that one too. For Twisted Tool Tuesday. <laughs> okay, we are done with this. I'm going to put it on the side to dry, and when we go to use it, if it's not all the way dry, I will stop the camera and dry it. So let me pull this over to the side. I have to walk with it over here so it will dry. Hold on just one moment. Okay, so now the next variation that you can do if you do not own or have any watercolors or that's watercolor is not your forte kind of thing let me move this out of the way because we're done with the watercolors hold on if watercolor is not your thing you can take some digitals or specialty paper whichever one you want um i'm not going to use the digital kit that i'm working with let me see if I have anything. Right here. Okay, so I'm not going to use the digital kit that I'm working with, but I will use this. That's not the one I'm working with. So it's different colors. Let me just get one more very, very variation. Excuse me. So these are different digital kits that I have. So, but there's not, it's not the English garden one I'm using. So I'm just going to take 
the square punch and you can take any punch you want but I'm gonna use the square punch I don't want to waste too much and actually you don't even have to use the square punch you guys this way I won't waste you don't have to use the square punch let's just cut some strips and make some squares that would that would be better so using your cutter you can use the square punch if you want to on um on digitals i just didn't want to waste the specialty paper so you can make squares with your <laughs> with your cutter in case you've never done that before squares or any kind of shape all right let's go and make some more we won't make that many so I'm just giving you an idea. I'm probably going to use mostly the watercolor. But this is just an alternate way if you don't have the watercolor of something to do. Whoops. And just so you know, my friend called me yesterday and told me that I was getting eight inches of snow. I do not have cable. I watch Netflix and things like that. I, I have internet, but I don't have like cable TV to watch channels. So they told me that I was getting eight inches of snow. And <clears throat> after all the hooting and hollering and me going on and on and running to the store, this and this and that and that, we got like four inches, really, seriously. It was not, if that, it started raining after it was snowing. I'm going to use this because it's pink. It was off to the side. This is from an, another kit that I have. Um, but you can use anything you want. Anything. Seriously. You could even go to the um, Home Depot and Lowe's when you buy, when you buy your stuff. Even Walmart. And go get paint chip samples. That that you could use too. I don't think I I don't have any here, so I have none. I think this is just gonna be oh maybe I'll do some more pinks. I'm just gonna do one and two. And then I'll do pink. Yeah, you guys could get paint chips. <laughs> Fun. All right, so really right now we're doing basic stuff. We're cutting. But we are using our, we are using this tool to make squares. I mean, that's something we don't ever do. And we have, and I have a whole, I have the puncher for um, squares. <laughs> We could just use this, and they don't—they don't have to be the exact same size. They don't. Okay. Yeah. So no, we did not get eight inches of snow. Silly thing for them to tell the people in New York. They call it the. Uh, Bread and milk scare. Bread, milk, and eggs scare. Run to the store. Oh, my goodness. That's something that you'll never see my sister do for snow. <laughs> my sister, well, you know, she lives in the rural area. But in the rural areas, you don't go to the store every day. So you are already have, unless you haven't been to the store in quite some time, you already have what you need when the storm comes in. I think that's that's it for right now just for samples wise we'll just do this one because it's done oh i almost got my finger which is why you're supposed to hold on to that don't do what i did okay all right so now i have all these squares here and I'm going to 
take my glue stick and my, and that's another tool, <laughs> glue stick and my book. And I'm just going to see what colors I want. And I'm gonna place them in a row, seriously. I may turn this this way so I can line it up. And we don't even have to do all of them. We can do, we can take three different ones. If I can get them out. <laughs> I'm moving off to the side just to glue. So here was another one. And then we'll do one more. We'll do this one. What's my time? I'm already at a half hour. This might be a really long video, you guys. So I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do one more. I didn't realize the time. I gotta keep checking. Um, I'll do this way. I'm trying to do them straighter. And if you want a continuation tomorrow, um, please let me know in the comments because I doubt we're going to get to a lot and I already do want to, um, I already do want to make things with this. So I was planning on doing that tomorrow too, but we can do a continuation and make more of the items. All right. So that's it. I'm only going to do those because we are pushing the time because we did not even do what I want to do yet. Even closely. <laughs> okay. I'm moving these over to the side. I'm trying to stay organized so that I don't mess this up. The time frame. Alright, so now we have this. And we have our watercolor. Paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the watercolor paper for right this moment. Because I know it's still drying. And I'm going to set up for the next step. Now the next step is to cut... The strips, you could use your ruler, which I'll just go ahead and do. Like that. So it kind of acts like the watercolor sample, except you're doing it with paper squares. And I love this little bit here, so I'll just fold it over and leave it on. Cute. All right, that's your paper samples, and that is an alternate way to do it if you don't have watercolor or if you don't like it. I'm stuck to the glue book. I don't need the glue book right now. Okay, I'm moving that over. I'm getting out my stencil stuff ready now. I'm gonna do two colors just for the sake of time. So we will do, let me see. Well, I'll just do pink and blue because it's the most common colors that I use. Pink and blue, or maybe I'll just do pink and cream. How's that? Pink and cream. So I'll do pink and sandstone. Ballet slipper and sandstone. I'm opening this and hopefully it will, it will open for me. <coughs> I haven't opened it since last year. <laughs> Let me do this on here. Don't, it's not dried out, I don't think. I didn't even look in it, but no, it's fine. All right, so I did shake it up a lot before, before the video. I'm getting a paper towel so that I can keep this stuff on there. All right, so I'm gonna take this now. I'm taking the paper plate ballet slipper and some of this not a lot um just about uh, maybe a teaspoonful it all depends on how much you're going to do I'm just gonna scoop it out it's kind of like the consistency of cream cheese or yeah like whipped cream cheese okay so it's about a teaspoonful and I'm gonna put some of this paint in there. There we go. The ballet slipper. I'm gonna close it back up. 
And then what I'm going to do is mix it up like this. And you can use whatever mixer you want. I just, I like the metal one. I have a metal one. I like it. And I'm just going to keep mixing it, mixing it all together. So it makes kind of like, you know, it's kind of like frosting. Okay. And then you can make it lighter. It's a little, it's, it's, um, what do you call it? It's kind of like. Uh, velvety pink. You can make it lighter. You can add more pay, uh, this to make it lighter. Or you can add some white. Oh my goodness, I'm already getting hot flashes. It's because of the lights. And I'll probably just continue after the hour is done to um keep going so you know what I'm gonna do because we have a half hour left oh we're okay we're all right I think we're fine if I did an hour video that's okay I think you guys will like this I hope so I hope that's not the reason why only 200 and something people works for my video it, it seems to be that everybody asks me <laughs> okay so now we're gonna get some more and put it in there Okay, and then I'm going to use um, the sandstone. Okay, come on, open. It's all a little gloppy from last year. Because it's been a while since I opened it. It's a little thick. That's all right. We're just looking for the color. And this isn't a painting or anything. All right, so I'm going to mix it all up. I'm probably going to have to add more color. And it's kind of like a creamy color. And I'm going to go and crack the door. It's not even going to take me 20 seconds to do. Maybe even six, <laughs> if you're counting. Because I'm getting a hot flush. And I need to crack the door. Otherwise, I won't be able to work. And I'll just be, I'll just be complaining. All right, let me, I'm going to add a little bit more color. Okay. And you can do this, you know... With acrylic, like I have this acrylic here, but of course, many people have the little, the little, you know, things of acrylic. This is, this is chalk paint. Um, I've never tried it with watercolor, so I don't know. <laughs> you can try it. Okay, there we go. You want to make sure this stays closed. Um, only take out what you need. All right, let me go crack the door. Hold on. Okay, I do see that my watercolor has not dried yet, so we're going to move to the next step. But we are getting to the watercolor, so hold on, because that's my favorite part. So now I have cream here, and I have pink. Um, I could use my cutter, or I don't need my cutter. I'm going to take out some of the new kit. Just the pages part. Well, I could take out the letters, too. Let's take out the letter. Let's cut it up. And then, and then you can use any papers you want. Um, if you have other letters, this looks really nice. Last year I did it with my wallpapers kit, the pink wallpapers kit. 
I don't think I have any of that paper in front of me, but that looks absolutely gorgeous on that kit. Tomorrow when we resume doing things, I will have make sure that that's printed out. Okay, and this, ha this comes with stamps on it for the letters. <laughs> figured I'd be sweet and put those in there for you. Now I'm making a mess. All right, let's see. I want to get into this. I want like a piece of that and a piece of that and a piece of that. I have a piece of everything. <laughs> okay, let me take a piece of this. I'm just going to do a strip. But I don't even have to do a strip. I'm just going to keep doing strips here. I don't have to keep it a strip. I could do whatever. I'm going to keep the glue strips there. And that. And I'm going to do this in some strips. I'm just making fun things. I'm going to do it this way. It could be a journaling card. I'm going to do a strip of this. A strip of that. I'm forgetting to put down the thing and we'll do a strip of that. Okay. So we did some strips of things. We're at 36 minutes. Okay. Let's see what I have. I have this here. I have this one here. Maybe I should do the, my plan is not working. Maybe I should do the watercolor. I need the watercolor. Oh, well, that looks nice on there. I think I'm going to add that right on there, like that. Now, I could make this smaller, you guys. I don't have to keep this like this, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me get mine. I could cut this. It doesn't have to be that long. I know I did it that long anyway, but I could cut it. So now I could take my glue stick. What I'm doing is taking those pieces and putting that onto a, a digital taking the pieces that I made here and I'll be doing the same thing with the watercolor. So I'm probably going to have to stop the camera and go and dry, dry them because they're not, they're not dry. All right. So we have that piece there. Isn't that cute? Collaged on. And then I'm, I'm just going to cut that like that. So now we have a little piece going on and then we have this one here. Um, yeah, I'll keep that like that. So I'm gonna glue that on there. And look what we did. We used uh, we used paste, stencil paste, spackling paste. We used um, digitals. We used all kinds of paper. We used our cutter. Um, we were gonna use a square punch, but we didn't. We used watercolor. Here, I have this letter. Let's see. I think I'm going to do that right on there. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to do a few of these. After I come back, I'm going to take a break <laughs> and go dry the watercolor. There we go. It's like a journaling card or a tag or a tall tag. All right, so we have one, two, three things made, kind of, kind of, sort of. And give me a moment. I'll be right back. Hold on, because I can't be gone long because I have this pencil paste here. Okay, hold on. I'll be right okay. back. I'm back, so I dried this really quickly. I'm gonna um, cut these down into strips like I did the paper, but I'm just using my ruler. Sorry if I'm not in front of you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And th these are so much fun to make. And in mass makes too, you can save them 
for future work. Like you can just keep making these and put them away into a bin or in, into a file and have so many piled up for next time, for next, for next use. Okay. So I'm gonna have to keep track. That was a half hour. All right. So now I have this made, I have this made, this made, this made. Now let's use some of the, um, let's use some of these that I wanted to use. Okay. So what do I have here? How about, I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it. And maybe, maybe I think I want to do it right there. Right in the middle. So like collaging on there. Collaging it on there. And then, um, of course, you can back um, things if you want to use them as tags just as they are. You can back them first. I didn't. I'm, for the sake of, for the sake of the video, I just went ahead and just cut them right open. I just cut them. Cut right down the strip. I'm all going. All right. And now we have this one. How about we use the blue one down that? Oh, I love it. Even though it covers up the roses, though. Um, maybe I'll just do halfway. And... We can kind of make it like a journaling little card. And I know I'm, I'm veering off of what I was doing, but whoops. <laughs> that side's pretty too. But just to give you an idea of things to do. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Fox Factory, April 29th, Fox Factory. <laughs> I get so mad at myself that I forget to scan these things. I always do though. Okay, here we go, that's another one. And let's see, how about, where'd that other one go with the, did I use it already? The one with the paper, I don't know. Wait, that's the blue green one. Oh yeah, I used the pink one already. We didn't make many of them. All right, so we'll use this pink one. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hold off on this. I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces. We have a blue, a pink, and we need one more blue. And then I will take this letter and this letter and these guys okay and we're going to have a little fun now with this pencil okay so all I basically do let's start with the letter is take a stencil. I cover my stencils. Great job, Donna. You covered your stencils. Okay, coming over here. And also, don't be shy. Get book pages, get little books, get odd te uh, textured paper. Don't be shy. Take some things anything when you're doing your stenciling. And then you can just lay your stencil down. Mine need my bucket of water now too. Let me grab that. So I'm gonna have my bucket of water to the side of me. This is why you gotta clean off your kitchen table if you're gonna do this. Sorry if I hit the phone at all because um, because it's plugged in to the charging station. Now we did these, I'm gonna set them aside over here and we're gonna do this little letter here, this English letter. I think we'll do the pink. What do you think? I think we'll do the pink. So 
I'm just gonna stir it up. It hasn't been too long since I've been running around with all the um, watercolor and drawing and everything. Now I'm taking it and I'm gonna put it on my back of my stunts, on the back of my tool. But you can use a butter knife by all means. You can use whatever you want. I'm moving this water out of the way so I don't hit it. And sorry if it's in the way of the camera, but it has to be here because goodness forbid if I need it. Now, when I go down on here, I may just, I probably have way too much on there. You don't have to, you don't play with it first. You're never going to know if it's too much. If it's not too much, it's all, it's all in taste. So you're just going to pat it down on here with your knife, making it go into the stencil. And then you're going to lightly spread it across very lightly. Don't. Don't do it deep or you'll get it in your stencil and that's not what you want. All right, make sure you have like six hands. <laughs> then you're gonna come back forth here and there you go. You're gonna spread it like that. And then you're gonna come down here and do it again. And I just hold mine in place. You, you could definitely use some tape. It's up to you. See how serious you are as a crafter. Um, is what you'll what you'll do look see now my knife just went underneath there and it really doesn't bother me so it's gonna be like a little smeared and I don't care um, this is beautiful it it's just it looks like you know the old masonaries are doing this on the walls in a temple somewhere <laughs> I'm just kidding it's me here twisted paper studio in my studio <laughs> okay and now I'm gonna pull it up very slowly, I'm gonna pull it up. You just wanna peel it back. Uh, there we go. See that? I don't know if you could see it or not. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, some stuff might have, you know, gotten off to the side and that's okay. You just wipe it off. No big deal. You can wipe it off. Or, when it's dry, you could flick it off. Okay, we're putting this over to the side because this has to dry now too. So it's a lot of drying. <laughs> a lot of things have to dry. All right, I'm not going to clean off my stencil though because I'm going to reuse that one. And I'm going to show you, uh, let's get some more pink ones because I don't want to do the blue one yet. Now let's do this one and this one. So this is the scrapbooking paper and also, well, not scrapbooking, it's the digital and also it is the glued on piece. So here we go again. And I go sporadic in here. Uh, that means that I do a little bit in one spot and I skip some spots and then I do a little bit in another. Just to give it some texture in different areas. Um, that's not all on in one place. Okay, now I'm gonna lift it up. And there we go. We have some more with texture on it. I don't know if you could see it. It's so beautiful. Okay, and now my favorite thing to do are the, um, ah, where are they? My favorite thing to do are the here they are. Watercolor. Those, that's my, that's my favorite to do. There wasn't much to fall. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and do those. Probably should have been working on a paper towel so that it won't affect anything else I do, but that's okay. And I'm going to just do the same thing. And you just practice, that's all. I took out a lot of stencils, but I don't know because we're on a time limit. We're on a time limit. And just leave your palette brush flat and you'll be okay. Okay. Look how beautiful. 
Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if you could see it. And it dries beautiful. It dries, it's, you know, it kind of dries like a, a little foamy. It's It doesn't dry too hard. It's not like real, real hard, hard plaster of Paris. Um, I'm gonna move this out of my way, the pink one, because we're done with it, hold on. Okay, and I'm going to, I need my brush though, I mean my tool. Ay, ay, ay. Don't mind me. I know that we are on time limit, so I'm brushing in my brain and it's causing me to forget what my next move is. The water is gonna help dry everything up and wipe everything down. I'm gonna stir this and make sure it's not drying. And then also, I do want to let you know that when you clean your stuff and all that kind of thing, if you use your sink in your kitchen, it does state on there that it is safe for, safe for, um, your, what is it called? <laughs> your drain pipes and all that, you know, safe for your plumbing. Safe. It's plumbing safe. So, it does say that. Uh, say that state that here I'm gonna use cream I want I should have used pink but that's all right I already cleaned it off so I'm gonna use the metal one and I'm just gonna do the same thing you guys and it's a lot this is so much fun and so much fun with so little effort, it looks beautiful. It's really not a lot of effort to do all this stuff. Look how beautiful. It took me about, I mean, if you have all the supplies I'm using, it honestly took me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to set everything up that I had everything in place to need. And then of course, you know, we've been on the video for what, 45 minutes now. So you saw that I did the, I've done the um, watercolor and I, you know, this doesn't even count that I printed out my digitals, but you probably have digitals that are printed. And I'm just going to do right here. Okay. There we go. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me bring it up. Isn't it beautiful? And then what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna take a break and let this dry. Here, I'm gonna do it on this one. This was pretty. I'm gonna take a break and let this dry. It's gonna have to dry a little bit. Um, I don't even think, I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry. I gotta check, I forget. Oops, I could, I could check that before we get off the, the video too. My, my brush, my tool went accidentally underneath, so it's probably gonna smudge. Nope, it's not, it did, it did okay. Look how beautiful. I love it. All right, here's a piece. Let's do some more blue. That one, I did that one. Um, I don't have very many uh, stencils over here. It's, it's causing me to believe that I put them somewhere. This is more different. These are different stencils than what I normally use. So I'm thinking that I put some somewhere so I wouldn't forget. Um, I think they're in with my embossing machine. Gorgeous. And then again, you know, this is this is okay on the side there. You just take your little scoop it. It's so beautiful. And the surfaces that you do this on is the possibilities are endless. Serious, seriously, um, no, it's really serious. You could do it on book covers, on file folders, on you know. Heck, if you wanted to experiment, you don't have to wash your fabric. 
if you're using the fabric on the book cover, you could do it on that too. Why not? Okay. Now, it is messy, but it does dry right off. Look how beautiful. I love this. It's my favorite effect. Okay, let's go back to this one. Where's the other one? Oh, I wanted this one. So you see this just washes right off in the water. I'm not sure you could see. It just comes right off. And then I'll have a paper towel here. I'm moving my digitals out of the way, but I'll have a paper towel here to dry it. And then I'll put this one in. Isn't this fun? <laughs> it's a lot of fun, you guys. It's so much fun. And it makes such a beautiful difference in your books. Because there's texture at play that there normally isn't. Um... You know, normally you don't have that texture in there. I mean, of course, embossing, but this is like a whole nother level. <laughs> okay. That's the one thing that I forgot was a garbage pan, a garbage bin. I will do these and then I'm gonna cut up, turn off the camera again, gather my stuff to, um, cause it's, it's been about 40, 47 minutes now. And then to, um, come back and quickly and show you what we made. And then we will, and then with the vote for who suggest in the comments, if I hear your comments that you'd like me to continue we'll continue tomorrow with more things to make but isn't this just beautiful it is my most favorite thing ever to make is the watercolor samples with the stencil and i think it's my most least watched video <laughs> i don't know maybe it's just me okay let's see I love this. I love it. Um, this, the um, Tim Holtz stencils, you can find them on Amazon. Um, I got mine all at a craft fair, so I can't even tell you the years ago. And then, of course, some recent, but you know, within a few years of each other. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay. And the other stencils, you know, I got it like... You can get stencils at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Um, you can get stencils kind of everywhere. You can get stencils online. So here's these roosters. I love that, or the hens. I love those hens. And I think what I'm gonna do is just go over the whole thing. Yep, so I'm patting it down and moving it along. Um, during the 100 day craft project, I still am going to do Merry Monday. I'm going to incorporate it into the 100 day craft project. And then I'm also still going to do um, Twisted Tool Tuesday. Um, some, some of you have mentioned a tool and something that you'd like to see. Some, some things I've already done. I will do it for Twisted Tool Tuesday, but some things I have already done. Um... I did get a suggestion from Steph. Steph is giving me all kinds of suggestions. Steph, there, those things are in the lineup, just so you know. They have been in my lineup. Oh, look how pretty. All right. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit the phone. Look at that. I love it. You could still see their faces. It's just adorable. Adorable. 
and I did the whole thing. Oh, hopefully I didn't move my phone. I did the whole thing. Normally, um, I don't, no, normally I didn't do the whole thing. Um, normally I, uh, did, you know, just a portion. And uh, I'm going to show you, not this one, it's kind of too big. Here's bumblebees. This is like a bumblebee. Not really, though. How about lace? Some kind of lace pattern. This is Finnabar. Finnabar also makes stencils, and they're on Amazon. I'd rather do leave some of the blue not covered. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay. I'm going to stop the camera now because we really only have like eight or nine minutes left. And I'm going to clean up so that clip wash my hands and then get reorganized and see what we can jam in the next eight minutes. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, we can't get a lot crammed in because I have to wait over. I'm going to wait overnight for this stuff to dry before I continue working. Some of it's wet and some of it's not. But don't you think that this is going to look gorgeous in my new book um, cover? And when we decorate the inside and do the pages... Um, the, the English inspired, the English garden inspired kit, I think is just going to look so gorgeous in this book cover. So that, that will be the next thing I'm working on. So I just wanted to bring this back over here and just show you these beautiful pages that we did together. They're just gorgeous. Um, we did the, um, we cut squares <laughs> and made watercolor samples with square pieces of paper. And you can do that and get those paint samples at the store if you don't want to use your paper, your specialty papers, or you can use digitals. And then we took the strips of the watercolor papers or the paper samplers, and then we added them onto book page and we stenciled over them. So today we've used a lot of different tools in our craft room that we may not use all the time. Um, I will get into more different tools as far as like... Um, uh, pastels or ink or watercolor, uh, no, uh, mixed media paper, um, maybe even the, um, what is it, the jelly plate. We may even get into that. I mean, doesn't that sound fun? I have all that. Um, I might, because we can mix it into what we're doing with our stuff. Um, I have an embossing machine. I have a, 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 the Genesis, was it the Genesis, right? I have not not only the embossing, but the die cutting. We make it into just some die cutting and some intricate kind of things to do with die cutting, like um, putting a window in an envelope without cutting the whole thing through. <laughs> things like that. So we'll get into more things. I plan on doing more things with you. Um, we're going to get into paper dyeing and, and dyeing with lace techniques and dyeing with vegetables around our house and you know, dying with all kinds of home things to, that we have at home. So we're going to get into all those things. I hope you're enjoying my channel. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. If you like my channel and comments, I, I give you out beautiful blessings. Please also um, follow me if you're not following me. And then please share. Give a share to my video if you have social media, Facebook or friends that also watch you that possibly they um, craft as well. And again, my new kit is in my shop, the English Garden. I do have a few more coming out before the 100 Day Craft Project. I'm hoping that I'll get to them as well as an Easter kit. So I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Please don't forget, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue this tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm just going to move on to something else and I'll do this on my own on the side. I will be using these though during projects throughout the, um, you know, throughout the rest of the crafting. Okay, bye for now my crafting buddies. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.